Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Mystery Box Function Challenge. In the purple box, there is some math, and your challenge is to figure out what it is. You can use the link in the description to try this on your own, and when you've got an idea, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's start with a zero. So zero gives us a one. How about a one? Well, one gives us 0.5. Okay, how about a two? Two gives us 0.25, so we've got a curve there. How about a three? Uh huh, and I'm noticing something here. Each one is half of what it was before. Let's go in the negative directions. So negative one here. And that gives us a two. Let's do negative two. Now we're up at four and negative three. I think I'm going to get an eight. All right, so what are you thinking here, looking at that shape and seeing those numbers? I am thinking exponential. It's just sort of flipped around uh, like it's been reflected across the y-axis. When we put in zero, we got a one. That is a clue that it might be exponential because anything to the zero power is one. And then we've got this curve that races up this time to the left. We're used to seeing it to the right, but it goes two, four, eight. Those are powers of two. So it's like this is two to the x, but flipped around. So how do you get that? Well, you could think of this as one half to the x, and that's the same thing as two to the negative x, right? Because uh, that negative is one over, and then uh, you'd have the x left there. So these are the same thing, and I think that's what this is. So let me show you how this works. If we put in one half to the first power, that should give us one half. One half to the second power, square the top and the bottom, you're going to get 1 over 4. So a 2 gives us a 1 fourth. Uh, if we put in a negative number there, so 1 half to the, let's say, negative 2. Well, the negative is going to flip this around, so we get 2 over 1, and then we square it. That should give us 4. And look at this, the negative 2 gives us 4. So I think this is 1 half to the x, or 2 to the negative, negative x. It, it doesn't matter whichever way you write that, it's the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so they've written it as 2 to the negative x. That's right. That's what we got. Let's go ahead and graph this. And you see that typical exponential curve just going from the right and shooting up towards the left instead of the other way around. Well, how did that go for you? Did you see exponential? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.